Hi everyone. Today's another healing day. I'm in severe pain from head to toe. I feel like I have the worst flu of my life. But it's Lyme and healing and I don't know. I don't have a doctor telling me what's going on. It's only what I think that's happening. It's the scariest thing about our country is I don't have any real doctor support with Lyme disease because it's so unknown. They know. It's not the doctor's fault. It's up. It's it's up above. The doctors, I I I can see it that that they can see something is really wrong with our with our people and our community. And all of these different illnesses have happening. Um, stress induces illness tenfold and makes us sicker. Especially with my condition, I know for sure. Um, because my nervous system is so damaged and my brain has... Um, the cells are going in and trying to repair my brain so my blood brain barrier is open I think I don't even know I don't research anything so I have no idea what part of my body the cells are working on right now but I do know that less stress which is nearly impossible with Lyme disease because finances and the lack of awareness and lack of support from my doctors. Well, well, lack. Yeah. No support for Lyme. Like, so many people in this country just suffering alone. Having no idea what to do. Day by day, holding on. Like I said, stuck between life and death. I'm a shell of what I was. I'm just a shell. This is a shell of Melissa Duncan. Not even a pretty shell. Look at that. Like all these viruses coming out of my skin, which is a great thing. It is. So every like giant planet on my face, I'm like, yay, it's coming out. <laughs> There's the positive. Uh, one day, hopefully, they. I hope everybody in the future, if they're ever faced with this illness, I hope that our country comes around to supporting us and giving us somewhere to go, just like we have for other ailments. We have, we have other clinics for other people that are really sick and... People have support for fibromyalgia and support for all of these other autoimmune diseases like MS and Parkinson's. And yet they were clearly sick and slowly shutting down, literally. Actually, I'm not. I've, I got stem cell, remember? So I'm not shutting down right now. I, I want to make that very, very clear. I'm not shutting down. I just am healing, so healing hurts with Lyme, and healing takes a bajillion days because there's been so much damage done because I've been sick and saying the same symptoms for almost four years that just progressively got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and repeating myself over and over and over again, like... Oh, I know everyone else out there who has Lyme knows the exact feeling of just, oh, but we can't just, oh. we have to fight, make awareness, save the future for our children. A child would never know how to articulate this disease. Look at us adults that are humiliated with this disease. 
don't know what to do, how to heal, don't know where to go. If you don't have money, you can't go anywhere. You lose everything. It's just takes your life, takes your soul, takes everything. But if we had support and if there was some sort of, I don't know, I don't even know. All I know is I wish that we had some support. And I'm thank you and I'm very thankful for all the people in my life that are my support. Even all the people that aren't doctors that are my supports or my healers. My healers are the people and that's my healers are like the, the people that actually work on my body from the outside to heal it instead of just giving me medicine to damage my insides. So my healers are helping me. And yes, there are some things that we need like to help like with medicine, of course. I would have not been here if I didn't have antibiotics for those 100 days. And then a month before I went to um, stem cell treatment, I wouldn't have made it to stem cell treatment if I did not take that month of antibiotics, literally. I was counting 43 days, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. It's a scary feeling. Really, 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 really scary. But that wasn't me. That was Lukey. I'm leaning my arm on him, and he just twitched. He's having a good nightmare. Or I say nightmare because I have nightmares. Yay. He's having a good dream. He's dreaming that he's running. I hope... You have a wonderful day. This wasn't very inspirational, and I try to keep them inspirational. I'm just having a very tough day. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not um, a happy soul. I'm a happy soul. <laughs> just a hurting body and heart and everything about it. But... Maybe with awareness and sharing our stories, we can start to get a little bit more help. Right? Right. Happy. What day is it? Thursday. Thursday, December 20th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Best time of year. Christmas holidays. Wish I was at work. I'm not going to cry and I'm going to end it there. There's only so many bad days I can have and it's already been like almost two years. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. A smile's often started by another one's smile. Wow. This is hideous. Like, I... <laughs> How embarrassing is that? Like, that is pure... I haven't even rolled out of bed. Enjoy your day.